Hello everyone, Brian and PS4 Trophies, and today I'm going to show you the location and how to solve all the Papyrus Mystery Puzzles. Now there are 25 of them, each one you solve will get you 500 XP, which is really nice, especially early in the game, but keeping ahead of the XP curve, so you're the appropriate level. So awesome XP, as well as awesome gear. You can get rare or gold legendary weapons or armor. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to mispronounce a lot of the names in this game, so just deal with, with it. But we're going to find the first one in Siwa here, and we're going to get a uh, papyrus called a long drink. Now here's how it works. You pick up the papyrus, and then it gives you a clue to a location. Find that location, find the object, and then you get your reward. So we're going to pick up the papyrus here. Now you can uh, get the clue right there, but you can also look them up, pull them up at any time if you go to your inventory. Now this one says, in Siwa, come find me at the bottom of the only bowl big enough for a god. Now what does that mean? That, that's very confusing, but it's not very far away. If you look at the uh, map and we zoom in, you're going to see a circle on the map. This circle is a pool. That pool is what they're referring to as far as a bowl big enough for a god. So go to that location, and then you're going to pick up uh, the item in the middle of this pool. Now, all the items are going to be at whatever your current level is. If you like an item that you get, you can always upgrade them to your current level at any time by upgrading them at the blacksmith. So i got a, a pretty cool little predator bow there. Now let's head to Lake Mariotis. We're going to find a puzzle called... Uh, fertile lands this is actually at the temple here or just north of the temple in yamu so we're going to find this one up on the second level of this building now you can use your bird to help you locate the actual papyrus so just to send out your bird and then you can uh hover in uh, hopefully he'll can scan the area and you can find the the papyrus that way now this one is going to say a few hundred meters northwest of the Temple of Sekhmet in Yamu, which resides by Lake Mariotis, there is a great place to go for a date, full of palm trees and surrounded by desert. One rock fence was built and closed off with no exit. Find me there. Well, we're going to find them there. It's actually more than a few hundred meters away. It's more like 600 meters away. But nonetheless, you're going to find this kind of little oasis over here in this fenced off area with all the palm trees. Now inside of here is going to be an enclosed fence, a stone fence is right in front of us. There's a palm tree right in front of me. We're just going to jump into this fence area. It's completely enclosed, and that is where we're going to find the item. So mystery solved. Now let's go to Alexandria. There's actually going to be several uh, papyrus puzzles up here, but the first one is going to be in the Great Library. You're going to come here. When you first come to Alexandria, you're going to be in the library. You have to follow a gentleman, and right in front of you on this red carpet is this round circle table so pick up that papyrus now this one we're going to have to travel to an area that's going to be higher level than you it's going to be a level 12 at a minimum but this one in the center of the gnome you can find me here hidden in a canyon near athelia i'm under a tree that thinks it's unique but only because the nearby rock bridge is blocking it from seeing the others of its breed so head down to satme gnome here this is kind of in the middle of the area look for this canyon area and you're going to find a crocodile lair. So be careful. If you're not level 12, these things can mess you up pretty good. Now, just above here is a tree up on the rock face here. So we're going to go climb up here. Now, if you're not quite high enough level to kill this crocodile, uh, you can either level up or you can sneak by and, and get up here. But just watch out. Now, I got a trophy there. You do get a trophy for one of them. You don't get a trophy for all of them. But the rewards are really good if you find them all. Back to Alexandria here. We're going to be in this, the lower left corner of the map. And we're going to find this one just inside the building, sitting out here. Not too difficult to find. Now this one's called the Stone Gaze. So let's go to the inventory. Let's check out what the clue says here. In the south section of Mariotis Lake, there is an island full of runes. A man stares at me all day. It's quite a bother. So I'm hiding behind a column that blocks his sight. So there's an island in Lake Mariotis in the south section of it, and that is where we're going to travel. We're going to find the runes here. You're going to find a statue on the back side of the south side of the island. You see it right there? It is gazing out this way. Now there's a column blocking its view right here, and the item we're going to loot is right behind the column. And we got ourselves a heavy blade. Back to Alexandria once again. We're going to go find Nature's Way. This is kind of on the top right of the map. And we're going to find uh, something here on this table. Let's 
called Nature's Way. Now, Nature's Way, let's see what this little mystery tells us here. In the east section of the Canapus Nome is a ravaged land where many trees fell and lost their home. But I'm by an orphan tree whose parents fell nearby, pointing towards their lonely child. So we're going to go over to the, the Canopus Gnome. It's on the very east side of it, You're kind of in the middle. And you're going to find some trees falling over here. Uh, there's one there. There's another one just in front of me there. If you follow their uh, vector here, they're going to kind of lead you towards a smaller tree that's in the, between them. And we got ourselves a legendary light bow. So Alexandria, once again, we're going to find an item called Ray of Hope. Now for this one, just go inside the building. We have to once again make our way up to the second level here. Find it right there at the feet of this statue. Now for this puzzle, we need to travel in the Katara Depression, there is only one place that isn't dry and sad. At dawn's first light, there is one tree near the valley's entrance whose roots are halfway between Ra's glory and the Thuffy's shadow. Find me there, but make haste. So, I, again, pronunciation, I suck at it. But we're going to go to the Katara Depression. Now, be careful. This is a very high-level area, but there's not a lot of enemies in this area. But if you find this valley here, right at the beginning of it, the entrance to it is a tree that we're going to go ahead and pick up. Now back to Alexandria once again. Deafening Silence is the name of this puzzle. So we're going to go to the building here in the very north island. Find it right here on this table. Now this one's quite easy. We don't actually have to travel very far for this. So this one says here, Alexandria is large and noisy, but one part is quiet, lonely, and surrounded by water. The fallen palm tree points to where I lie, where land meets water. So there's really only one island, minus the one that we just were on. And it's the little one here, kind of in the middle, in the north of the map. So this is actually just a few hundred meters away from where you uh, start the mystery. So get on this island. You'll find a fallen palm tree and follow to where it points near the water. And that's how you solve that one. Got ourselves another light bow. It's a higher level. All right, so we're going to Canopus Gnome. We're going right in the center of this uh, region. We are going to find a farm, and inside this farm area, I just go to this one of these side buildings. Inside there is the the papyrus. This one says, in Sapi Rest Gnome, north of Latopis Topolis Temple, you can find me in the farmland. I lay where man's creation brings in Nile's water. So we're going to go over to the Sapi Rest Gnome. You're going to find the farm over this way. There's Latopolis. So we're just north of that. Now, if you're going to look, you're going to see an irrigation system where they're bringing water out from the Nile, and you can see it come up, and then you've got to follow it all the way to the end here on the left-hand side. So simple enough to get that one. Number nine is the Sapi Rest Gnome. So we're kind of in that same area. And there's a temple. Inside of this temple, we're going to find the papyrus. So find this one in the very back here. So Sea of Sand. Now, the Sea of Sand here says, In the southeast of Imnet Nome lies a broken ship. Past time till morning, an X will mark my hiding spot. This one's kind of interesting. So if you go to this location, there's a broken ship. You'll find it's kind of out in the middle of the desert. If you uh, change time, you can uh, fast forward time by hitting the touchpad on your uh, DualShock control controller if you've picked up that ability. If you haven't picked up that ability, don't worry. You can just go to where I'm showing you. But if you pass time to the morning right to dawn, and then you look out in the distance, you'll see the shadow from the mast. Out there in the distance, it creates an X, and X, of course, marks the spot. Now, that spot is only going to be correct if you look out there at the exact right moment. 
So that moment has actually passed a little bit for me, so it's not going to be quite where the shadow's at, but it's going to be close. Close enough for sure. Of course, I don't realize it right away. I just sit here at the X and go, huh, there's no, there's no item here. Without realizing that time kind of moves a little fast in this game. You can see the shadow just kind of creeps. So just go to where it would have been. There it is. Should be within 10 meters of the X location. The Smoke and Mirrors Predator bow I just got there, by the way, I used exclusively to the end of the game. Now, number 10, we're going to head to Memphis. There's three of them in Memphis. We're going to find a temple here on the north side of it first, and we're going to pick up the one called In Plain Sight. So for this, you got to climb up on top of this bookshelf here. All right, so this puzzle is going to say, on an island southeast of Crocodilopolis, there is a river with unnatural color. Nearby, you'll see the cause, and I'll be inside the one that's the only one that's unique. So we're going to go to Crocodilopolis, however you say it. Again, the pronunciation is way off, but there's an island on the south here, and you'll see this river here that is discolored. Something's coloring this river. So we're going to actually go inside these little pits Look for the gray one, and inside the gray one is where we're going to get the ceremonial staff here. Number 11, again, we're back in Memphis. Now, we're just a little further northeast of the previous one. That's where you're going to find the papyrus. Okay, so this one here says, if you, if you head to the other side of the Nile in Neba Hebed Nome, you can find a peak with great view of the Nile. Take a look around, then come find me hiding under the only tree nearby. Now, this one's actually not in Ineb uh, Hejet Nome. It's actually in Memphis, but in the, uh, the zone above it, you'll see there's a big mountain there that you can climb up to. It has a really good view. There's nothing else up there other than a view. So we're actually in Memphis next to the mountain. There's the peak right there to our right. So just to the right of it, you're going to see this tree that kind of sticks out because it's the only tree in the area. And behind the tree is where we're going to loot the item. Mystery solved. We got ourselves a shield here in this, this time. Now our third and final one in Memphis. Kind of in the middle of the map towards the left-hand side. So pick this up off the table. Now, we actually are going to stay in Memphis for this one as well. Two men stand guard on the Memphis Eastern Canal. The south one looks solemnly at his sunken friend. If you follow his gaze, you can find him and me on the river floor. Hmm. Interesting. This one actually it confused me for a little while until I realized the men they were referring to were just statues, not actual real people, because that would make no sense at all. But you see the statues at the entrance to this canal here. What we need to do is look at the left one here and then head straight out from that and then swim out and it's going to be underwater. So make sure you line yourself up with the statue. Dive underwater before you get to the shipwreck just ahead. And there's his friend, his fallen friend. So go and loot that. Get your 500 uh, XP, solve that mystery. And now we're gonna head to Giza. Stone fungus is the name of this papyrus. You'll find it in this building just to the right of the largest pyramid. This one's inside a building, but in order to get, get it, you have to go in through the roof here. So the so stone fungus, this one's actually still in Giza as well. We don't have to travel very far for it. So this one says, in Giza, three pyramids stand tall. From the top of the smaller one, you can see quite a lot. Even two mushroom rocks, the smaller of which I lie atop of. So let's go ahead and teleport ourselves over to the top of the smallest of the three pyramids. And we're looking for mushroom rocks. And we're going to see this one. It's way out in the distance there. I'm kind of pointing at it. There's two of them there. The right one is the smaller one. Now there's a sandstorm coming, which was unfortunate for the recording of this video. So as I got to the base of this mushroom rock, 
The storm really starts hitting me pretty hard. Don't worry, in just a second I will uh, mark, uh, show you the mark on the map just so you can clearly uh, see where I'm at since I was pretty far away. So we made it to the top here. And the sandstorm has made it to my location. So go ahead and loot that. You can see, you can't even see anything. The visibility is terrible. But let's go ahead, let's just pop open the map so you can have an exact location of that puzzle. All right, so now we're heading to Fayum. The Leaning Tower is the name of this one. Northeast Fayum here. There is a building at the Karanis. Now for this one, we need to get up to the second level of another building. In order to do that, you need to climb this statue, jump over. In Fayum, north of the Dionysus Caravaseri, there is a tower with a hole by its feet, and it's it's in need of support, so I sit behind it, but the wooden beams seem more helpful. Huh, very strange, but we're going to find this one in Fyram. This is on the exact opposite corner, southeast corner. You're going to find uh, the, the restricted area there, and just north of that restricted area is where we're going to find a tower that is kind of leaning. It's being supported by a bunch of beams, so the building kind of sticks out. So once you find this building, just travel on the opposite side of where the beams are, and you're going to find the object. Got myself a Fatal Duet sword. All right, so we're still in Firem. Now we're in the su southernmost area here in the middle, at the, just north of the, or just near the Valley Market here. It's a very simple, it's a small area, but just travel up here. Pick up the Papyrus. Now this one says here, there is a place of remembrance for the unfortunate masses in Northwest Harris Nome. While I rest here immobile, I cannot escape Ra's grace, but at least every dawn I avoid him longer than the others. So we're gonna head over to kind of where a, a bunch of ceremonial uh, burial cemetery is located here. And you can see a bunch of triangle uh, stone monuments here stone tombs rather this one is actually going to be way off on its own that's block uh, the sun is blocking it from uh ra which the, ra is the sun by the way in 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 the egyptian terms so you're going to find this one way up here by itself right in front of it is where we're going to pick up the uh, xp the light bow and some coin so now we're going to head to fayum oasis which is a separate region just to the right of the fayum and we're going to find here House of Iwin. Inside of this building here is the Papyrus. Now this one is this, this one is uh, pretty clever. This one's going to make us travel to a zone to the right. Right off now, in Atapharam Nome, there's a lot of states that you can only make pottery on the east side of the road. I'm hidden atop the one illegal clay smoker in that region. Interesting. Well, there's only one real north and south road in Atef Peru Nome. So it's actually the only real main road in this region. So we're going to travel down this road. And you're going to see on the right-hand side, you got some clay smokers here. That's on the east side of the road. However, one on the west side of the road, the legal one, is where we're going to find this uh, solution. So you see it right here. You have to go up inside here. I don't know if you can burn yourself or not. I recommend you don't attempt to find out. All right, so back in Fayum Oasis, we are down in Crocodopolopolis. I'm not. That is nowhere near the correct pronunciation of that word. But we're gonna go to this temple. It's up here. You got to climb up to the second level and climb through a window in order to get to this one. All right, so this says here, east of Krakodapalapalalalts, 
South of the Shattered Pyramid, a large beast of a god stares angrily at a pharaoh who shows him no respect. I'm hidden behind the blasphemer's head. I attempted to practice the pronunciation of that word for at least three minutes. Didn't work. So we're in the next uh, region over, and there's a pyramid just over the border. And just south of that pyramid, you're going to find a stone statue, which is right there, of that animal. And it's staring right at the back of a head of a pharaoh. So that is apparently disrespecting the gods, apparently. Behind the pharaoh's head is the object. Pick that up. Mystery solved. And now we're going to head over to the Harris Gnome. Kind of the south of this uh, area, you're going to find uh, the Temple of Thoth here is where we're going to find the, the puzzle. So inside this temple, head straight back. So we're going to pick this one up. We're going to end up having to travel south of our current location. And this is kind of a cool one. I liked it. But south of our current location, uh, it says here, southeast of the city of Herm Hermopolis is a leopard's den in Yub Nome. At the top of their territory lies a place where birds should live, but do not. If you take a leap of faith, you can find me. Well, that was very intriguing to me when I first read it. But it wasn't too difficult to figure out what they were asking. So not very far south of the border, you're going to find this leopard den here. The leopard lair. you got to climb all the way up to the top where the leopards are at. And you can see they're higher level than me at this point in time. So I do everything to just try to avoid them. And I fail miserably. I'm supposed to run up that little that tree that's sticking out and, and don't. So let's jump back up there. So get to the end of this tree and we're going to do a leap of faith off of this. And if you see right below... Is kind of an entrance to a cave. So we're going to dive below. Pray that there is some uh, hay there. And as soon as you get out of the hay, the mystery is solved right in front of you. Another level up. Quite a bit of level ups here. All right, so now we're at the very top of the map, top right corner, the Heraclean Gnome. There's a couple of them that we're going to find up here. So inside of this one is where we're going to find Twin Despair. We don't have to leave this zone to get this puzzle. This one says, in Heraclean Nome, east of the Temple of Kasu, it's a village that is more water than land. Behind two houses with different problems, one whose feet are always wet and the other who can't cover his head. You can find me sitting under a tree. So we're going to head east to the YW Huts area. So fast travel just north of that fast travel point. We're going to find uh, two islands north of that. You're going to find two houses, one that has no roof and one that's sitting in the water. And that's what they're referring to. So look for the tree. And it'll be right under the tree. So keep moving forward there. So this is a higher level, by the way. You should be a level around level 30. But there's a lot of good animals up here if you want to do some hunting for any pelts. This is definitely the place to do it. So now we're going to go to the uh, get one called the Royal Flora and Galenos home. I'm totally making up the pronunciation of these of these names as I go. But inside one of the buildings on the second floor is where we're going to find the, the papyrus. So this puzzle, let's see what it says here. In southeastern Heraclean Nome, you can find me beneath the tree who fancies himself king. This one actually was pretty easy. Uh, just go to the southeast corner, and you're going to look for a tree that would uh, essentially want to call himself king. And it's very obvious. As soon as you see the tree, you'll be like, ah. This is by far the biggest tree in the entire game. So at the base of this tree, just circle around it, you'll find it. Of course, you can use your investigation to help you locate the loot as well. All right, so now we're going to travel to the opposite side of the map, Green Mountains. Just north of actually your starting location, a couple of regions north. So we're going to find one inside of this building here. It's actually outside the building, inside this little circle thing. I forget what these buildings are called. So be careful, the uh, guards in this area will be aggro to you.
All right, so at the bottom border of Parathonian in the, in the, is a village of ghosts. I'm in the house of the blasphemous man who built his house furthest from Ra, the sun's god, drawing stare. All right, so we're going to go over to Parathonian. And just south of the uh, fast travel point there uh, is a little village, an abandoned village. There's one building to the uh, furthest left and up on a hill. So we're going to go inside of that building. Apparently that is the blasphemous homeowner there. Shame on him. But inside he left us a uh, object there, a hunter's bow. So Green Mountains once again. We're actually in the very north border here. Fast travel point luckily is right there. So once you fast travel here, you can drop into the hay. Once you've done that, travel back into the into the cave here behind us. And we'll find the wet work papyrus. All right, so this puzzle says, in the green mountains where they're building a great aqueduct, go find its source high up in the mountains. Inside, you can find me sitting at the bottom of the lowest pool tucked away beside the side two large jars. This one's actually not very difficult. In the center of the green mountains area, you're going to see a, a, an aqueduct being built. So it's pretty obvious. So you just have to go to where it starts, inside the cave here. So just follow it into the entrance here. And I do something really dumb. I light myself a torch and then almost immediately jump into the water like one does. Anyway, so once you jump into the water, you got to dive down and you'll see straight ahead of you a little alcove here. And there is beside the j jars is the loot. So mystery solved. All right, so now we're heading north. There's three puzzles in Kyren Ica. And the first of three, we're going to do the, the one on the south side of it. The tomb of Batos is where we're going. Inside this tomb, you got to climb up to the second level here outside on the roof and then drop down the center to get to this puzzle. Also treat their dead with great honor. And now, Find it right here on the table. All right, so this mystery, south of Cyrene, in the Green Mountains, there is a lake whose water comes from a magical stream. I'll be at the source of that magic where water flows from nothing. So back to the Green Mountains we go. And we're going to find this one here. Uh, you're going to see water on the map when you zoom in right by the fast travel location. We just need to get to the source of that water. So follow that water out there from the distance. Follow it up to the stream here to where the water flows right here. This is where it's flowing from nothing, the source of the water. So pretty easy to find this one. This is actually one of the easiest ones for me to find. All right, so back into Kyrenaika. We're going to go do the left side puzzle here. Now inside of this building, back here on the table, shouldn't be too difficult for you to get. So we're going to have to go back to the Green Mountains once again. In the southwest section of the Green Mountains lives a monstrous beast with sharp tusks and a tough gray skin. In this deadly arena, you can find me between the edge of the arena and where the beast states his thirst. So, obviously, we're going to go to the elephant arena here. One of, I think, three elephant arenas in the game. One of which, uh, not this one, you get a trophy. And that's for, you have two elephants. But we're not talking about that. Now we're talking about this loot here. So, in the arena... Look for the big pool of water, and between the pool of water and the fence is where you can solve the mystery. You don't actually have to kill the elephant, so if you're not high enough level. All right, so back to Kyrenaika here. We're going to get the last puzzle here, the last papyrus puzzle. So in another building, very much like the previous one, we got Undue Haste. Undue Haste tasks us with going north of Apollyona. I am next to the li to a lifesaver. It guides in darkness and fog, and I sit beside it under something that did not heed its warning. Well, immediately I knew that was a lighthouse, so go to the lighthouse in the very north border here by the Masagia Sea. Oh, my pronunciations are on point today, I'm telling you. Anyway, behind that lighthouse, 
drop down you're gonna see a wrecked blue ship and that is the final mystery guys i want to thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it make sure you hit the like button of course subscribe